In this video, we will focus on how to create combat NPCs with intelligent AI behavior. We will create enemies that adapt to player behavior, make smart tactical decisions and create those wow moments where players feel they are facing a worthy opponent. What actually makes NPCs feel intelligent to players? Consistent reaction to player actions, context awareness, memory of player behavior, tactical decision making. The magic is that all four of these can be implemented with simple systems. If you can create a basic behavior tree and use blackboard variables, you are good to go. Let's look at the following story example. Fort Grayson housed the newly established Quantum Intelligence Division, where military cryptographers worked with cutting-edge quantum computers to protect national communications. Only a handful of people knew the full extent of what happened behind those reinforced doors. The night air was crisp as Staff Sergeant Sam Reeves adjusted his night vision goggles. Sam's patrol route took him along the eastern perimeter, a section bordered by dense woods. Standard procedure dictated checks every 15 minutes. Sam's AI perception component constantly scanned his environment with defined sight and hearing radii. The player, currently using stealth mechanics to infiltrate the base, had chosen a less optimal entry point. Though covered by shadows, had crossed into the peripheral vision cone of Sam's AI perception component. Huh? Sam froze, his state transitioning from patrol to alert, triggering a specific animation set and raising his situational awareness radius. He slowly reached for his radio while maintaining visual contact with the anomaly. Watchtower, this is Sentry 5. Possible movement in Sector 8. Going to investigate, over. Copy Sentry 5. Backup standing by. This radio call changed the state of nearby guard NPCs, putting them into a heightened awareness mode that would make them more responsive to subsequent stimuli. Sam moved deliberately, using the darkness as cover. 20 meters ahead, the player character in dark tactical gear was working on the perimeter fence using specialized cutting tools. Halt, military police, hands where I can see them, Sam called out, his rifle raised. This voice trigger had a detection radius of 40 meters and would alert any NPCs within reach. The player character tensed, then activated their sprint ability, heading toward the predefined extraction point marked in the tree line. Sam pursued, his state machine now fully transitioned to combat. Suspect fleeing northeast into the woods. Male, approximately six feet. Tactical gear, possibly armed. This call triggered a base-wide alert status, causing all NPCs to sync their behavior trees and establish search patterns based on last known coordinates of the player character. Guard density would now increase in the northeast quadrant, making stealth progressively more difficult for the player. The chase continued through the forest, Sam gaining ground due to his higher agility stat. He closed the distance and triggered the tackle animation, bringing the player character to the ground. They struggled briefly, a quick time event for the player, before Sam secured him in restraints. The player had failed the infiltration mission, triggering the captured storyline branch rather than the mission successful or escape without data alternatives. Within minutes, the base lockdown protocol executed changing patrol patterns and alert states for all NPCs. The perception component simulates the senses of NPCs, namely sight and hearing. In our example, Sam's perception component features peripheral vision detection that triggers tight changes and environmental awareness that can be affected by player actions. Sam operates on a state tree with three primary states, patrol, 
the default state with standard awareness and movement patterns. Alert, which is triggered by suspicious stimuli, increasing awareness and caution. Combat, which is activated when threats are confirmed, enabling pursuit and combat behaviors. The secondary guards use behavior trees. They respond dynamically to changing situations. They prioritize actions based on environmental conditions. They coordinate with other NPCs through shared information. When searching, they make use of splines or waypoints based on the player's last known position. What makes the system truly powerful is how these components interact. When Sam detects the player, his state changes triggers behavior tree updates in nearby NPCs, creating a cascade of intelligent responses. This creates emergent gameplay where each NPC feels like part of a coordinated team rather than isolated entities. Understanding these AI systems not only help developers create more realistic games, but also help players appreciate the complexity behind their virtual opponents. Next time you're playing a stealth game, pay attention to how NPCs detect, react and coordinate. You might just gain a new appreciation for the intricate dance of code that brings these digital characters to life. How would you approach combat behavior? Share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next one.